these are going to be hard projects. A lot of them are going to fail. You know, not all the technologies will get developed. If we don't have our best innovators wanting to solve hard energy and climate problems, and instead they decide, you know what, it'd be easier for me to go build a web app, we're going to lose out on, on that impact, on that ability to transform our energy infrastructure in the way we need to. Uh, Cyclotron Road is a clean energy incubator that gives early stage technology companies a chance to develop uh, their initial prototype technology. We are trying to bring a, a completely new chemical mechanism to advanced manufacturing. We can use the ocean as a big pump providing the power for desalination plants. Imagine taking the power of 37,000 trees and putting it into one suitcase. These are kind of big deal technologies if they work. This is a way to support technologies and take them from the lab out into the marketplace where they'll have a large impact. What's really amazing about the National Labs is you have some of the best science in the world going on, but you have a mission to use that science for solving our energy problems. You've got great innovators that are out there. What if we could bring them in and connect them to a world-class institution, to a national lab, and have them be supported in a way that you know, otherwise they couldn't be? You've got uh, some of the best you know, tools, and in some cases, tools that don't exist anywhere else. The value of that to an innovator trying to develop a different technology is it, you almost can't put a price on it. We try to go the traditional route of getting venture capitalists to support us, but people we talked to said, well, we'll support you once you have a prototype and you have some traction. We couldn't afford to build a prototype if we didn't have any money <laughs> and didn't have any resources, just as, as sort of free grad students. It means that every dollar, you know, dollar of R&D funding goes so much further than it would if these people were trying to start their own company doing a standalone project. Um, it, you know, it completely changes the equation there. To publish a paper, it has to work twice. To have a, a product, it basically has to work every single time. So these aren't just academic problems that we're trying to solve. We're trying to make real solutions for the real world. One of our core beliefs is that innovation is driven by people. That's how change happens. You know?